For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. Last year was not only a fantastic year for archaeological discoveries, and if you haven't seen my video on the greatest archaeological discoveries of 2023, I'll leave a link below, but it was also a fantastic year for ancient historical discoveries. Well, what's the difference, you might ask? Ah, whereas an archaeological discovery is the uncovering of material remains, a historical discovery, or at least what I'm counting as a historical discovery, is a discovery that is made about an artifact that has already been found. This could be an inscription, an ancient ruin, or any other object. So that's what we're going to talk about today, what people have found after examining these artifacts. And in 2023, we had many. But I have picked out what I believe are the top 20. As usual, I'm covering material that dates to ancient times. So this would be between about 4000 BCE and 600 CE. Number 20, Egyptian tomb art shows many revisions. New research has revealed the underlying creative process behind 3,000-year-old Egyptian murals in the Theban necropolis. Portable x-ray machines were brought into these ancient tombs, enabling scholars to glimpse beneath the surface without damaging the murals. X-rays revealed unexpected modifications beneath the final layers, contradicting the idea that these artworks were methodically planned. For example, the painting of Ramses II showed an earlier version with significant revisions, illustrating the artist's iterative process. This challenges presumptions of precise pre-planned Egyptian art, showcasing ancient painters as human and prone to errors. Do you like do-it-yourself history? I do. And one form of history that is super fun to work with is your own family history. That's why I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, My Heritage. What My Heritage does is provide you with over 19 billion records, all at your fingertips, which you can then use to piece together your family's genealogy. They make it easy and fun to build your family tree and discover your origins. So, record matches. It will take you over here, and there's someone in there that matches, and we can review the match. And look, seems to be him. Look at all these new people, new information that I don't have in my tree. Now check these out, discoveries, okay? These are people that my heritage discovered for me. This is instant discovery. Let's, let's check out one. Susanna Pavlison. It looks like we have the same person. Look at the dates match, same person. This is gonna add 12 people to my tree. There also is an AI feature where you can take an old photo and enhance it and colorize it. Check out this photo of my mother's mother from 1922. It looks so much clearer and more real. You can even animate it. Then you can take these photos and put them right into your ancestor's profile. So if you're interested in your genealogy and family history, I can think of no better service. Below the video, I will leave a special link, which MyHeritage has given me to offer to my viewers. And with it, you can sign up for a 14-day free trial and enjoy all of MyHeritage's amazing features. Then, if you decide during that trial that you want to continue your subscription, you'll get a 50% discount. Number 19, the Picts had local ancestry. A study published in PLOS Genetics suggests that the Picts Scotland's ancient painted people had local origins, contrary to common assumptions. The international team, led by archaeologists and geneticists, debunked that the Picts originated in the Aegean or Eastern Europe and intermarried with the locals. They analyzed eight bones from Pictish graves. Genetic evidence, mitochondrial or mtDNA, passed down from mother to child, retrieved from the London Lynx and Ballantor graves, between 450 and 650 CE suggests a link to Iron Age inhabitants in Britain. The Picts had local roots. The research reshapes our view of ancient Scotland and its legacy in modern society. Pictish DNA can be found in Western Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and Northern England. Number 18, the date of star calendar in America pushed further back. Archaeologists have made a significant historical discovery about the Olmec and Maya people in Mesoamerica. 
They used airborne LIDAR technology to identify 415 ceremonial places along Mexico's Gulf Coast, dated from 1100 BCE to 250 CE. These centers, including some attributed to the Olmec culture, were aligned precisely with the heavenly bodies, showing a sophisticated 260-day calendar system. The calendar, which combined celestial events with architectural designs, was used to schedule ceremonies and may have influenced community gatherings and agricultural practices. The discovery represents the earliest official calendar system in the Americas and predates the previously known written material by over a millennium. Number 17, Ancient Egyptian Hydraulic Engineering. An international team put together by the British Museum's Amara West Research Project, in collaboration with the Sudanese National Corporation for Antiquities and Museums, has been studying a network of 1,300 river groins, or walls, submerged beneath the Aswan High Dam Reservoir along the Nile in Egypt and Sudan. They have concluded that these are the remains of ancient structures of hydraulic engineering dating back over 3,000 years, which trapped fertile silts, enabling agriculture without artificial irrigation. Serving as barrages, they facilitated resource movement and navigation, connecting ancient Egypt and Nubia. Number 16, Minoan civilization may have used celestial navigation techniques. In an exciting study, skyscape archaeologist Alessandro Berrio from the University of Wales found that the ancient Minoan culture, which thrived on Crete from 2600 to 1100 BCE, used celestial navigation for international sea trade. In his painstaking research, Berrio revealed that the Minoan palaces served as cosmic guides to important trade hubs by being positioned to coincide with the rising and setting of key stars. This orientation implies considerable marine knowledge and the existence of unique relationships between the Minoan palaces and foreign emporia. The discovery calls into question the idea that Homer's Odyssey is our earliest evidence of celestial navigation raising the possibility of revising maritime history. Number 15, oldest known hydraulic engineering in China revealed. Yes, researchers from University College London and Peking University studied ceramic water pipes that had been discovered at Ping Liang Tai in China and determined that it represents part of a system of advanced hydraulic engineering. The site dates to the Longshan period, 2600 to 2000 BCE. The two-tier drainage system managed seasonal rainfall, challenging assumptions that centralized governance would be needed to achieve advanced water management. Number 14, Appearance and Ancestry for Iceman Utzi Revised. Remember Iceman Utzi, the famous mummy discovered in the Utztal Alps of Italy in the early 90s? Utzi lived during the Copper Age between approximately 3350 and 3120 BCE. Researchers have unveiled startling revelations about Utzi's appearance in a groundbreaking discovery. Earlier analysis in 2012 indicated the presence of steppe herders from Eastern Europe in Utzi's genetic makeup. However, with new DNA sequencing technologies, an updated investigation of this high-quality genome has revealed a surprising truth. Utzi shares more than 92% of his ancestry with early Anatolian farmers. Johannes Krauss from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany noted that these findings accurately represent Utzi's appearance, dispelling the prior assumption that his skin darkened during preservation in the ice. The genome analysis reveals that Utzi likely had high skin pigmentation, dark eye color, and male baldness. The real Utzi didn't look that differently from the mummy. Number 13, revised migration patterns of ancient Mesoamerican peoples. An international group of biologists, geneticists, anthropologists, and biochemists made an exciting discovery using genetic analysis to figure out the complexities of the migration patterns of ancient Mexican societies. Prior archaeological beliefs suggested drought caused migrations from the dry north Arido America, as they call it, to the South, Mesoamerica. The study, published in the journal Science, analyzed genomic and mitochondrial DNA data, spanning 2,300 years. Surprisingly, despite extended droughts, locals in Sierra Gorda did not migrate 
contradicting earlier views. The team suggests a link with the Cinnabar commerce, implying trade as a likely cause for the migrations. The discovery reshapes our understanding of early Mexican migrations. Number 12, earlier evidence for long distance trade between Egypt and Greece. In a stunning discovery, the analysis of artifacts from Queen Hetepere's tomb, which dates back to about 2600 BCE, suggests a substantial link between ancient Egypt and Greece, defying previously held beliefs about ancient trade networks. The research published in the Journal of Archaeological Science presents the first scientific evidence that the silver in Queen Hetepere's bracelets came from the Aegean Islands. These unique silver artifacts challenge assumptions about early Egypt's metalworking techniques and trade routes. The findings suggest early long-distance trade between Egypt and Greece. Number 11, horseback riding in Yamnaya culture earlier than previously thought. Archaeologists found an unexpected historical discovery while analyzing skeletons beneath 5,000-year-old burial mounds in Europe and Asia. The remains, discovered in the Pontic Caspian Steppe, were from the Yamnaya culture. These semi-nomadic people played an important role in the spread of the Indo-European languages. The researchers took a novel strategy, finding horsemanship syndrome in bones, changes to hips, spine degeneration, and trauma, to determine proof of horseback riding. Their findings from 24 out of 39 skeletons studied show that horseback riding was common among Yamnaya people as early as 3000 BCE. This discovery strengthens links between horse domestication, Indo-European language spread, and the Yamnaya culture's rapid expansion. Number 10, steel was used in Europe 2,900 years ago. An international team revealed steel tools were used in Europe about 2,900 years ago at the end of their Bronze Age. Yeah, you heard me right. Their study, focusing on Iberian pillars of siliceous quartz sandstone, unveiled that these structures could only be crafted with tempered steel, challenging prior beliefs about metallurgy in that era. An iron chisel from Roca de Vigio, Portugal, dating back to 900 BCE, was analyzed and found to contain carbon-rich steel. This conclusion, confirmed by experimental replication, challenges beliefs about the timing and dissemination of quality steel production, emphasizing indigenous advances in Iberian metallurgy. Number nine, secret formula of Roman concrete found. In a significant discovery, a multinational team of researchers, including scientists from the US, Italy, and Switzerland, has found the secret ingredient that made ancient Roman concrete endure for over two millennia. Analyzing 2,000-year-old samples from central Italy's Privernum, the researchers identified white chunks, or lime clasts, as the key. Contrary to previous assumptions, these clasts, formed using quicklime during concrete mixing, facilitate self-healing by dissolving into cracks and recrystallizing after exposure to water. The findings open doors to creating more sustainable modern concrete, potentially revolutionizing construction practices and reducing the industry's carbon footprint. Number eight, AI tools developed to discover and translate ancient cuneiform. This past year, linguists from Ludwig Maximilian University in Germany developed the AI bot Fragmentarium. Collaborating with the Iraq and British museums, they photographed 22,000 fragments, revealing hundreds of new texts, including a 4,000-year-old version of the Epic of Gilgamesh. This discovery predates existing versions. Concurrently, Tel Aviv and Ariel University scholars employed AI to translate Sumerian and Akkadian cuneiform text into English, marking a significant breakthrough. The AI rendered translations are comparable to ordinary modern language machine translations. These are huge breakthroughs. While artificial intelligence will not replace philological effort, it will speed up translation, making Mesopotamia's rich past more accessible to specialists and non-experts. Number seven, seeds help reconstruct history of the ancient city of Gezer. Archaeologists from the Austrian Academy of Sciences have published a radiocarbon data set for Tel Gezer, an important Bronze and Iron Age site between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. The team meticulously measured charred seeds 
from various settlement layers, establishing for the first time a reliable timeline for Gezer's history. This discovery provides a reliable method to match archaeological evidence with historical events from written sources for the period between 1200 and 900 BCE. The findings reveal the city's destruction around 1200 BCE, potentially linked to Pharaoh Meremptah's military campaign through the area. The data set also helps settle a debate about when the Philistines first arrived there, showing that they took up occupation of Gezer around the mid-12th century BCE. Number six, reigns of Mesopotamian kings dated through archaeomagnetism. Scientists from the UK, US, and Israel found that Mesopotamian bricks contain magnetic clues which can help us understand the region's history from 1000 to 500 BCE. The bricks, bearing the names of Mesopotamian kings, are marked by Earth's magnetic field changes. Published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the study used a magnetometer to analyze 32 bricks. By correlating the Earth's magnetic field changes recorded in iron oxide signatures with historical records, the team created a historical map of magnetism. This breakthrough allows not only the dating of these kings, but for accurate dating of non-organic artifacts in general, providing a crucial baseline for absolute dating using archaeomagnetism. Number five, hidden text of Claudius Ptolemy revealed. In a breakthrough finding, experts from Sorbonne University and New York University were able to get a clearer view of an ancient document that was hidden beneath a later writing. This document is thought to be written by none other than Claudius Ptolemy, a mathematician and astronomer from the first century CE, who lived in Alexandria. Originally discovered in 1819 in Bobbio Abbey, Italy, the book proved difficult to understand because it was on recycled parchment and had an overwritten text. Using multispectral imaging, the team uncovered the manual by Ptolemy, which talks about how to construct a meteoroscope, an armillary instrument for studying stars. Even though the first and last pages were missing, distinctive Greek vocabulary and thematic conformity with Ptolemy's known works confirmed the extraordinary find. This discovery tells us about ancient astronomical equipment and highlights Ptolemy's distinctive contributions. Number four, ancient Latin texts written on papyrus reveal new information about the Roman world. For years, Roman writings on papyrus have been sitting around without much study being done on them. But thanks to the EU-funded Platinum Project, this has changed. Crucial new information about Roman society and education has been found in these ancient Latin texts written on papyrus. The initiative took an interdisciplinary approach, bringing together Latinists, linguists, and historians, and they found things they didn't know they had. Among the findings were Seneca the Elder's histories discovered in charred papyri from Herculaneum, which will most certainly rewrite a chapter in Latin literature. The only known Latino-Arabic papyrus was also found, revealing early contacts between Latin and Arabic cultures. The research sheds light on Latin spread, teaching methods, and cultural exchanges, providing significant insights into ancient Rome. Number three, AI enables the reading of Herculaneum Scroll. A 21-year-old undergraduate student, Luke Ferritor, from the University of Nebraska, used AI to extract the first readable word from a charred scroll found in the ancient Roman city of Herculaneum, buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. Awarded $40,000 in the Vesuvius Challenge, Ferritor's machine learning algorithm detected Greek letters on the fragile papyrus, unveiling the word porphyros, purple. The scrolls, found in the 18th century, were previously deemed unreadable. This breakthrough, using AI technology, can potentially revolutionize our understanding of ancient history and literature by deciphering previously inaccessible texts. More is to come. Number two, Kushan script deciphered. A team of early career researchers from the University of Cologne has deciphered the mysterious Kushan script that had perplexed scholars for over 70 years. The script, used between 200 BCE and 700 CE, belonged to the Kushan Empire, which was known for spreading Buddhism, 
and creating monumental art in Central Asia. The team meticulously studied inscriptions from Central Asian caves, deciphering 60% of the characters. The breakthrough revealed a Middle Iranian language potentially linked to the settled population of northern Bactria. The discovery, which will allow us to read more texts, promises a deeper understanding of ancient Central Asian history. And number one, a new Indo-European language was discovered. Yes, ancient language specialists have discovered a new language at the Hittite capital of Hattusha. The inscriptions were part of a trove of over 30,000 cuneiform inscribed clay tablets that archaeologists had dug up, dated between 1650 and 1200 BCE. These tablets as a whole shed light on Hittite society, economics, military campaigns, and religious practices. The newly discovered language, which they call Kalasmaic, was likely spoken in the northwestern Hittite region, and it offers a unique glimpse into the diverse linguistic landscape of late Bronze Age Anatolia. Belonging to the Indo-European language family, Kalasmaic's discovery adds another layer to the Hittite linguistic puzzle. So there you have it, my picks for the top 20 ancient historical discoveries of 2023. What a year it was. If you think I missed anything important, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't seen my video on the greatest archaeological discoveries of the past year, I'll leave a link for you below for that too. You might like my little e-booklet, Why Ancient History Matters. It's designed to persuade people that the subject is important, even in the modern world. You might also wish to use it to help spread the word. So feel free to share it with someone you know. It's free for anyone who wants it. I've left the link in the description box below the video for you to grab a copy. Catch you later.